When people said 2020 was going to be a movie, I think they meant a dystopian one. And we have to face facts. The start of the year was cursed. And now, we are facing a huge pandemic called coronavirus. But did you know, this is basically history repeating itself. This is not the first time the human race has been dealt an awful card. Let's go ahead and look at some of the worst moments on Earth in the newest episode of Explained. Biggest Pandemics in History Watch until the end to find out how the knowledge from these pandemics can give us hope for coronavirus. Number 1. HIV and AIDS Pandemic HIV is a human immunodeficiency virus. What it does is mess with your immune system. So you are prone to catching infections and dying from said infection. When this virus spreads almost all over your body and affects you acutely, we call it AIDS. AIDS is a terrifying concept and for many reasons. Why? Because your body turns on itself, often causing deadly diseases like blood cancer. HIV was transferred from chimpanzees to humans in the Congo in 1976. And since 1981, it has killed more than 36 million people. The world truly declared war on the pandemic, and scientists worked tirelessly to produce medicines that could manage HIV. Today, a lot of people who have this virus lead a fairly normal life. In fact, the mortality rate has dropped from 69% to 3.7% in 10 years. Number 2. The Black Death This is the most famous of pandemics, and for a good reason. It literally killed one-third of Europe and devastated their economy. It was discovered in Messina in a very horrifying manner. When citizens went to receive goods off a ship, they found out that every single passenger had died, covered in horrendous-looking black boils. The Sicilian government ordered the ships to be thrown into the ocean, but it was too late. The entire process of the Black Death went like this. A nasty boil formed, then fever, shivers, diarrhea, pain, and then, you guessed it, death. And if you thought the ease with which coronavirus is transferred is scary, listen to how the bubonic plague was transmitted through touching literally anything of the infected person. You touch their clothes, you're dead. You touch their shoes, you're dead. Just dead. Some people went to bed fine and just didn't wake up. Naturally, people panicked and fled to the countryside where, theoretically, they would be safer. No again. It affected every manner of animals as well. It was so bad that the writers who scribbled down everything that was happening thought that people of the future would not believe it at all. In just a few months, the population of Florence was down 60%. How did it end? Exactly how experts say coronavirus can be contained quarantine, and good hygiene. It's true, because it rhymes. <laughs> Number 3. Spanish Flu This pandemic occurred in 1918 and killed without discrimination. Old, young, diseased, or healthy. It started in World War I, where soldiers were living in questionable situations. They went home and took the virus with them. Contrary to what the name implies, the flu was not named Spanish flu because it originated there. Spain was just a neutral country, so the name could be published without censorship. The signs were a dry cough, fever, shivering, then pneumonia. In trying times like this, people went to doctors, who were just as confused as the public. They suggested wine and beef broth for a tasty cure. Unfortunately, it did not work, and the disease spread from Europe to Africa and then America. <laughs> Eventually, it killed more soldiers than World War I did. Its mortality rate was 50% at one time, and it ended the same way the plague did. Quarantine. Number 4. 
Number 4. The Antonine Plague. With this one, we are taking it way back to ancient Rome. Also, we don't know exactly what kind of disease this was. Suddenly, people started coughing, developing ulcers on their skin, having bleeding in their gut, and dying. Because this was so long ago, historians disagree upon the social and economic impacts of this plague. Not a debate where one says it was fine and the other says it was not. It's a debate where one historian says it was so bad and the others say it was a bad times 50. At its peak, the plague killed 2,000 people per day, which became 5,000 in the next outbreak. 70 million people died due to this plague, and naturally, it devastated their army. Ancient.eu sums up the situation very well when they say the army was well-fed and well-armored, and none of the preparations prevented them from falling ill and dying. The rulers picked up any men they could guard their borders, including entertainers, which made a lot of Romans super angry. Not only were they dying, but they had no entertainment now. Oh, it was unthinkable to them. To simplify a very complex and harrowing situation, a lot of people died, which made a lot of businesses flop, which reduced taxes. And everyone knows what happens when a civilization runs out of money. They become weak. So this plague could actually be the first stepping stone towards the eventual decline of the glorious Roman Empire. Number 5. The Third Cholera Pandemic Cholera is a disease that is caused mainly by drinking infected or dirty water and leads to diarrhea and eventually death through dehydration. This is much easier to treat than the previous mentioned diseases, but the lack of resources and understanding has caused it to be fatal in the past. There have been a total of seven pandemics caused by cholera, and the worst was the third one that began in 1853. It originated in India and traveled the world. Right before it killed a million people, a doctor called John Snow discovered the source of the disease. Yes, we were immensely impressed with his name, too. These were five of the most horrific pandemics in history. The purpose of this video was to remind ourselves that while coronavirus could be better, it could also be much, much worse. Do you think that it is a good way of thinking about these trying times? Comment below and we'll pin the best one. After commenting, forget about viruses for a moment and give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who is acting like coronavirus is the worst thing that ever happened to humanity. The world might be pausing, but on the bright side, we are holding a contest where you can get a video of your choice, made by yours truly. All you have to do is comment below, and if you are the winner we pick on Sunday, you'll receive the video within 15 days. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We make crazy and informative videos for you all day, every day. We'll see you next time on Explained. Don't forget to wash your hands.